Fog Dad's pattern of behavior of being unable to handle criticism of his son Fog Dad's YouTube content could potentially destroy his son's entire career, since he is now personally attacking the family members of people that dare to criticize his son's YouTube videos, which in my eyes is taking things a step too far. Alright, so yesterday I had YouTube open on the side while editing some videos and the algorithm spoon fed me this video, probably because it had my response in the title and every video that features the words my response is usually quite spicy and I like spicy content that's why I'm a commentary youtuber. Now I want to prefix this video by making clear that this drama is outside the range of stuff I would typically cover on this channel but there is one key reason I'm expanding my subject range for today's video. Now that reason being the lack of coverage of this situation because apart from the guy that published the video against Fog that in the first place there is not a single soul on YouTube talking about this topic probably because the channel that's doing the exposing is a lot smaller in size in comparison to the guy that's being exposed which means it's kind of flying under the radar right now so I might as well be the one to talk about it. Okay so there's this youtuber going by the name of Vise or Vise. I'm gonna call him Liam throughout this video because I'm unsure of how to properly pronounce his name. Shout out to you if you got that reference by the way. Anyway, this guy mainly releases soccer commentary type of videos. So he talks about for instance the rise and fall of certain soccer players or soccer clubs or about just any controversies going on in the community. Some of his content might be kind of similar to the video about Mason Greenwood that I did a while back. Oh and by the way, take everything I say with a pinch of salt because before yesterday I had no idea who any of the people involved in the situation were. Like I have never heard of any of them and I did all my research on them in one day. I think I did it very thoroughly but there's only so much you can find in one day so I might have missed some stuff. Regardless, a few days ago Liam released a video talking about another content creator, Fogden, who is also a soccer and vlogging type YouTuber who does like a lot of prediction and then reacting to prediction videos, which I find to be kind of pointless to be honest. But anyway, Liam explained why in his opinion Fogden is the most hated soccer YouTuber in the community. Actually, I guess everybody involved in this drama is British so I might as well bring myself to call it football. I hope that satisfies all 1.9% of you. Now Fogden himself managed to take the criticism without coming across as out of touch or entitled, but his father on the other hand decided to attack Liam in DMs, essentially calling him a terrible role model for his daughter and describing Liam's video on Fogden as a disingenuous hit piece and yesterday Liam actually fully leaked these DMs so we are gonna have a full look at what Fogden had said exactly. But before we do that let's see if there's any misinformation information in this video or just anything that would explain why fuck that seems to be so upset here. Okay so I researched Liam's channel yesterday because again I didn't know him I only watched one football youtuber this guy Maxwell and this guy could literally be feeding me misinformation about everything going on in the sport because he's literally my only source of info on anything related to football since I stopped playing a few years ago. So I really was completely unfamiliar with Liam and I did all my research from scratch but anyway during my research I concluded that he has a decent track record record and all things considered he seems to be well liked and somewhat respected within the football community meaning that if this video here was really such a biased hit piece it would have to be an outlier within his channel but as we saw with just stop a few days ago even good youtubers can produce trash videos sometimes so let's get into it others that are known for football vlogging which the king in this industry is most definitely fogged up. now the topic of football vlogging is definitely a heated one in the footballing world there's really two sides to the arguments here. Now I already want to stop it here because this is a pattern in this video. He goes through a bunch of reasons why people hate Fogden and then he lists pros and cons for the argument. So here in this particular case he's explaining how a bunch of people don't like Fogden because he does football stadium vlogs where he basically films himself watching and reacting to a football game and just kind of capturing the whole vibe of the place. And then Liam brings up an argument of Fogden's critics that being how if you go to a football game to vlog it you're taking a ticket away from an actual fan who might be more interested in the game than you are. Then Liam would bring up arguments defending Fogden, like that for instance he's capturing the atmosphere and fan reaction of the game for football fans who themselves maybe didn't have time to attend the game and this way of listing both arguments for and against Fogden is basically what Liam does throughout the whole video because obviously that's the whole point of it it's just to explain why people generally dislike Fogden and not why Liam dislikes or likes Fogden. So then Liam brings up 
other points. By the way, right now I'm only gonna talk about the ones Fogg that doesn't mention in his DM, just so that I don't repeat myself later on. So his other arguments were how Fogg then predicted Cristiano Ronaldo to have a bad World Cup, which obviously pissed off the Ronaldo fanbase. Which again, I don't think it's fair to hate Fogg then, just cause he predicted Ronaldo to play badly, but it is entirely fair and impartial to list that as a reason as to why people hate on him. Cause that's just objectively a true fact. You said something negative about Ronaldo, therefore most Ronaldo fans hate you now. Liam then mentions how Fogg then at one point made a video filming a fan having a heart attack during a game and therefore profited off a tragedy. Which is kinda ironic by the way cause Fogg then's most popular video of all time is literally a re-upload of Logan Paul's forced video. Uh, surprise, this is editing Montreal here. And as I was editing this video and, and trying to insert a screenshot of Fogden's most popular video, I just realized that his entire channel has been hacked and it's now called Ark Invest and there's a live stream of apparently Elon Musk. It's obviously been hacked by scammers, all right? So I might be missing some screenshots in this video. I, I, I don't know what I'm gonna do about it. I might just draw them. I mean, I hope Fogden gets his channel back. It might be back already when I upload this video, but right now it's called Ark Invest and it got hacked so and, and I obviously hope he gets it back because that would be very bad for him to just lose his channel like that uh, but yeah that's why I might be missing some screenshots. But again, that's a very fair criticism and Liam even mentions that he did later on apologize for profiting off a tragedy. So again, he's mentioning both sides of the coin and then he also brings up the fact that a lot of people believe that he faked a story about being attacked by football hooligans while in Bulgaria. And Liam doesn't even claim this as fake, but just points out some inconsistencies with his story and other people's report. And he's basically just questioning Fogden's story, he's not saying it's outright fake. Now, now he then also shows this clip and this is really the only time where Liam really seems to be personally criticizing Fogden for this. It was pretty difficult during the World Cup to like just see the timeline just going for me. People calling me mm. a dickhead. Do, do you have, do you, does that stuff get to you? Yeah, it does. It does. I, was, I remember we had like some days where we were working 15 hours, going to four matches, running around. Then at the end of it, we were I was working with my editor to make sure what I want <laughs> and then the thumbnail, and then the title, and you finish like, what is a 15 hour shift? People don't realize that, because they just say, oh, you're going to football games. Yeah. As you guys it's know, a there's a lot yeah. more to it. Mm -hmm. After the game, you're on your phone, you're on your laptop, working away. So when I, I was finishing days at like 2 a.m., and then there'd be a match at 10, so I'd be up at eight, so I don't, I'd be barely getting any sleep. Yeah. And I'd be checking Twitter at the end of the day, just saying like, what's this all for? Like, why do I bother? And I do want to cut Fogg then some slack here because I don't think he's necessarily saying that he's doing so much work and because of that life is so tough to him when like every construction worker or even I as a bartender would laugh about what he has to do in his quote unquote job. But I think he's probably saying something along the lines of I do this work for my fans and supporters but then I go on Twitter or whatever and everybody just hates on me and therefore I wonder what am I even doing this for anymore. And that's definitely like a sentiment I I would actually sympathize with because that need of being liked by everyone that's something a lot of us have so I wouldn't actually criticize him too much for that because I don't think he was discrediting or making fun of other people's struggles with that statement but then again this was the only time throughout this video where Liam even took a slight stance against Fogden otherwise he was really entirely impartial or even in support of Fogden which is why Fogdad's response to this seems really really out of touch now let's take a look at Fogdad's DM to Liam in response to this video by by the way, Liam does an alright job defending himself in his own video, but I'm a commentary channel, not a news channel, so I wanna argue with people, meaning I'm addressing all of his points by myself. Alright, so he hits up Liam in Instagram DM saying, I saw your video about Fogden and I found it vile. It paints you as an unpleasant, jealous, bitter, deceitful person and someone lacking in self-confidence and integrity. Theo and I are used to the occasional vileness on social media, but this hatchet job surprised me given your social media following. Now, I wanna drive home just how unjustified Fogden is in claiming any of this by looking at all of the reasons why Liam thinks Fogden is hated. The first reason is he's vlogging football matches. The second point is he has shady sponsors like Crypto.com. The third argument is that he's overrepresented in media such as Sky Sports, despite not having any exceptional knowledge about the sport football itself. The fourth point is that he predicted Ronaldo to have a bad World Cup. The fifth point is that out of touch clip I showed you earlier 
earlier. The sixth reason is the him filming a heart attack thing and the seventh reason is him having that sort of questionable story about getting attacked in Bulgaria. Plus the eighth argument was that his dad was a member of the conservative party or something. Now I reviewed the video and out of all these eight criticisms, Liam is completely neutral on four, takes Falkton's side on three and is only outspokenly against Falkton in one. So not only is he neutral and impartial, which was his goal in this video in the first place to present a neutral and fair explanation of why Falkton is hated, but even so he's even slightly biased towards Falkton. He defends Falkton more than he attacks him. So this really shows how Falkton can't take criticism, because out of the 7 points, Liam supported only one, but Falkton still calls him a vile, bitter and deceitful person, despite Liam even at the end still remaining fair and balanced as seen in this clip. So when I go into the things that people dislike Falkton for, I'll be honest, there's not really too much that he's done that is really that wrong. He definitely has made a few mistakes as he is quite a young lad, and we all hope that he learns from it. And even the main takeaway from this video in its entirety was that most of the hate is probably based on jealousy. So fuck that is just completely insecure and in the wrong here. So fuck that then says the low point was probably quoting and therefore taking yourself down to the level of Twitter trolls. This surprised me as I'm sure you've had unpleasantness aimed at you by trolls and your spouse. And what fuck that is referencing here is actually the intro of Liam's video. Fogden is a disease. The scum of the earth of the worst kind. Nah, I just had the greatest idea ever. Tell Fogden to Qatar, slip cocaine into his pocket, and watch him get beheaded during one of the matchday vlogs. No more come on England from that pasty inbred when his head is being fed to a camel. Now, in Fogden's mind, Liam reading these tweets out loud basically implies that he agrees with everything that's said in them. And I really hope I don't have to explain why this line of thinking is complete bullshit. Obviously, this video's purpose is to explain why Falkton is hated. Now in order to do that, you first have to prove to people who are unfamiliar with Falkton that he is actually despised by a lot of people. And how do you do that? By showing people being hateful towards Falkton on the internet. Liam is basically saying, look, this guy is getting constant harassment on social media, therefore I am justified in saying that he's a hated creator. By the way, I don't agree with the fact that he's the most hated, because the most hated football YouTuber is probably Zach OMG. but I definitely would see Falkton as being hated. So saying that Liam agrees with these tweets, one of them literally calling for Falkton to get killed, it's a far far reach because he's just reading them. So then Falk that does this weird thing where he asks 7 questions to Liam, which to me comes across as very very patronizing but anyway I'm gonna respond to them by the way these are the most passively aggressively worded questions I have ever read in my life question one please comment on what I have said above well I just did that in the previous video chapter so we're gonna skip that one question two your video is sponsored but you criticize Theo for taking sponsorship please comment all right so for this one fuck that would almost have a point if he wasn't also like just making shit up so it is true that Liam is sponsored and by looking at his sponsors, I would personally not trust them. So his main sponsor for this video is a website called U7Buy and by just clicking the first link on this video it already takes you to a website where any child that stumbles upon this video can purchase something called FUT coins for up to 3.8 thousand dollars. Now that I do find kind of shady and also his sponsorships like severely harm his videos because he has like the same ad read in every single video and just edits it in without any transition. Like the best way to describe to you how I felt researching this guy and coming across his ads is like if you decide to like watch a meditation one hour playlist and a few minutes into the video it just starts playing like a Chief Keef song. Now if I was super charitable here there's the possibility that he might have signed a bad contract with them or something that just forces him to put the same ads on every video but I think overall the more likely reason is that he's just a bit of a struggling youtuber right now. Like if you look at his most popular videos out of his top like 40 only 5 are from recent time, like the vast majority of his most popular stuff is from 4 to 5 years ago. So more than likely he's just trying to make ends meet, like this guy has a kid at home. And his videos are well researched after all, so I would cut him some slack on that. Besides, this entire point is completely irrelevant, cause not once did Liam criticize Fogden for taking sponsorships. If he was really criticizing Fogden for being sponsored by Crypto.com while also having simultaneously shady sponsors, Fogden would have a decent argument. But since Liam never argued this in the first place, Fogdad just comes across like he didn't even pay attention while watching the video. Now question 3. 
Do you regret quoting a Twitter troll that wanted Fio murdered in Qatar? And question 4 kind of ties into this as well. Are you projecting your own feelings about Fio by quoting this tweet? Now this one is honestly just hilarious. The way he's basically asking Liam, so do you want my son to die? It's insane to me. Like obviously he doesn't want your child to get murdered in Qatar. Why would he want that? If he really wanted that, I don't believe he would have been so charitable to your son in his video. Fuck that, just comes across as insanely delusional here. And even the diet version of this argument, which would be something along the lines of, oh, you're giving this tweeter attention by showing this tweet to your audience, would also be wrong. Because all that showing this tweet is gonna do is getting a bunch of people to find it and dunk on the idiot tweeter for wishing death to this random YouTuber. So just from wherever you see this argument, it's just plainly wrong from fuck that side. Question 5. What causes a moderately successful YouTuber to make a video like this about a more successful YouTuber? YouTuber. To me, this question comes across as fuck that looking down at Liam. Like, it seems very, very condescending, especially since there's an argument to be made that Liam is just as successful as Fogden. Because, firstly, Fogden's most popular video is just a re upload of the Logan Paul scandal. And that video has 40 million views. And you gotta think, like, how many of his 1.1 million subscribers come from that video alone? Especially since his second most popular video, that's like actually his own content that he himself created, only has 2 million views. And also, like, 50% of the people that watch Falkton kind of hate Falkton. While I would argue that at the very least like 80% of the people in the general community that are watching Liam are actually fans of this guy as a person. So there is an argument to be made that he might just be as successful all things considered, despite having less subs overall. But yeah, why did he make this video? Probably because he wanted to enlighten people who might not really know Fogden but constantly see him getting hate online on why he's that hater. Like it's not gonna be that deep of a reason. Question 6. You invited Theo and me to your wedding a few months ago. Do you have any feelings about your video in relation to this invitation? Somehow the more questions I read the less sense this guy seems to make but I guess he's trying to imply that Liam is mad about them not coming to his wedding and therefore made this video to kind of get back on them. I'm not Liam okay so I can't say this for certain but I would assume that not to be the case, because if Liam really had such a grudge against them, he would have probably been a lot harsher against Falkton in his video, instead of defending him on like half the arguments. Question 7. You are a father, are you proud of your vindictiveness and will you be encouraging your child to emulate you later in life? Now with the last question, I believe we have truly hit rock bottom, because this is probably the worst question he asked, because he's essentially saying, yeah, Liam you're a terrible role model for your child because you released this objectively un unbiased video about my son and that's just like I have no words on how one person can be so insecure that their response to criticism is going after someone's relationship to their child and especially since he wasn't even criticizing him but he was criticizing his son so like this is helicopter parenting at its finest. He then also ends this DM by asking permission to include a link to Liam's video in I guess a response he's planning where he also says this should earn you a few more shackles in income from YouTube and your sponsor. Man you're really coming across as if you're implying that you're better than him as a creator because you have more money and that you're making fun of Liam because he has an inferior income compared to you and to me I I'm just speechless about that because like this guy went from looking like a reasonable well-adjusted adult to now appearing to be completely unable to take any sort of criticism or digs at his son's content which in my opinion that's a shame really. So now let's talk about how this behavior by Falk that could potentially harm his son's YouTube career. What's important to know here here is that Falkton's father is considered a prominent if not essential part of Falkton's YouTube channel. Now Falkton's main content can be separated into three categories, stadium vlogs, predictions and reactions to predictions. And in two of these three content styles, Falkton's father is always there alongside Falkton. I mean he's also in a channel banner and like just prominent on all sorts of social media related to Falkton. So like everybody that watches Falkton also knows about his father I think. So now that his father has been exposed as this person that you know can't handle criticism and insults the people who are criticizing his son, it does shine a negative light on Falkton's channel as a whole. Cause Falk that from what I can tell always came off as this well adjusted resourceful man, as he should be cause he's like 50, but now that perception of him will forever be changed and by the way I don't think Falk that is a bad guy, even though he really said some nasty stuff in these DMs. But on his twitter there's like a bunch of fan interactions cause you know he spends a lot of time in the stadium and meets and chats to fans there, so I feel like someone 
someone would have already said something if he was really just like a constant asshole to people there. So it's more likely that Faulkner is probably a decent enough guy, but just cannot take any form of criticism of his son's content in the slightest. Alright, so how do you think Fog that reacted to Liam releasing this video featuring all of the evidence of Fog that being an insulting and condescending person towards a guy that made a neutral video on his son? Well, let me tell you his response won't help his case of not being able to handle criticism, that's for sure. Cause he responded by blocking Liam on Twitter, which is just fantastic. Cause you're reaching out to ask 7 questions, but once those questions are public, you're suddenly backpedaling and just trying to block Liam. But anyway, for him it wasn't just enough to block Liam, but he also turned off everybody's ability to comment on his tweets. Which is really really embarrassing, right? And even on his Twitter it says something like trolls always get blocked on it. So honestly, I shouldn't have even been surprised that this guy is unable to handle any sort of criticism at all, or even engage with criticism in the first place. Anyway, so what I hope happens here is that Falk that manages to reconsider the choices he made throughout this drama and actually apologizes to Liam, cause he really did come across as just a massively condescending asshole in his DMs. And also, you should check out Liam's videos, they're pretty decent from what I can tell if you're interested in topics related to football. Even though I won't watch them cause the constant sponsors annoy me too much, but yeah, overall I think Liam definitely deserves to take the W here and I just want to do this video cause I fought this situation massively flew under the radar.